going to be a pretty chill trip because Sunshine Coast is not that big. So we're just going to take our time. All right, day one. Just packing up the car a little bit. Got the new table, got the shovel. It's basically almost all my stuff. I have maybe my camera bag and my backpack. And then this spot, this space is basically all for Adrian. So yeah, I still have my camera bag, my backpack, and my pack out. Adrian has also the same pack out as me. We're gonna mount it up on the roof rack. Then I have my python lock to loop around the uh, pack outs so nobody can take them off the roof rack. And then I also obviously got a lock for this as well. I got a lock for the other pack out as well that I gave to Adrian so he knows the combination to that one. But this simply just locks into here. Um, I basically, my idea is I probably will not take the pack out off my roof rack at all during this whole entire trip. So before I take out the bat wing awning, my plan is to just take off this lock right here and just open it and just grab and just grab this duffel bag because it has all my clothes and everything that I would need and then just bring it with me inside the tent or the truck depending where I sleep. I just want an easy system. It's also there's a gasket around here as well on under the lid so it's pretty water resistant. Not sure how waterproof it is but I mean it would have to be pretty heavy duty since a lot of trades guys use Milwaukee and Milwaukee is a pretty well-known brand. Everything else that's in here are just shoes and but this is the bulk of like my clothes and everything um, that I packed. Worst case scenario if this leaks through then I'll just get like a um, one of those waterproof bags that I can just pack it into next time but otherwise this is a good size it fits and yeah. I also have an abundance of power so I have a Jackery 1000 here to power the fridge. This one will always be topped up because it's plugged into the 12 volt. So every time the, the car is on, it'll always be charged. So it'll always be topped up. And then my second Jackery is right here, or the Jackery 300. That's actually mainly used for plugging in actually my laptop because it actually takes the 60 watt charging port right here, cable. So I don't have to bring my whole, my big ass brick to charge my laptop. Um, this is mainly for a computer. And of course, we can't forget about my EcoFlow. Um, if you watched my previous videos, you'll know that the AC ports on the back of this unit does not work anymore, but it does charge still. So the only thing that is working on this guy are all the USB ports. So this guy's sitting up at the front. And you might be thinking, that's a lot of power. It's not. <laughs> um, it could be, it may not be, but it's rather, it's good to be over prepared with power and then not enough. Here we go! Woo! Second annual camping trip. Sunshine Coast. So. And it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, first night I'm probably gonna sleep in the truck and then second night I'm gonna tent it. BC Sunshine.
here. <laughs> There's my camping. Creekside. There is a story to this. So, found a campsite. Was, we finally found a campsite. Third <laughs> time's a charm. First campsite, full. Second campsite wasn't even a campsite <laughs> that I was looking at. No, that was the third one. No, second one was mine. It wasn't one. Elephant Mount Elephant Provincial Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And then yeah. third one was yours, which was not a campsite. No. <laughs> then I <laughs> I like, I was like, okay, we got to find something. So we found this one, or I found this one, Creekside Camp Campground? Creekside Campground? Yeah. Yeah. It's like $30 a night, which is fine. We got a lovely creek behind us, if you can hear it. Could be worse. It was a tad expensive though, but it's okay. Better than Ontario. How much is it in Ontario? $50. Ooh. That's like yeah. average across the entire province. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. <laughs> Good. All right, well, we're gonna set up camp. Andrew's gonna tent it. I'm gonna sleep in the car because I'm I just want to see it how it, see how it goes, but uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll tent it up because it's supposed to be nicer out as well. Pretty simple dinner tonight. Just a uh, just a Moore's house chicken, rice dish. I don't know if this is going to be enough for Adrian and I because I'm mm, pretty hungry. Alright, just using the facilities. Pretty clean so far. Pretty impressed. There is a code on the door, so that's good too, for safety reasons. And, um, yeah. <sighs> what a day, what a day. I'll show you my camp setup though, in the truck. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so I'm in the truck, and it's pretty cozy. Not gonna lie, my stuff right here, which you can't really see if I shine the light. My duffel bag's on top of the fridge right now. Um, everything is pretty good. I'm glad I have this mattress that I brought. Uh, so far, not too bad. I don't know how much you can hear because I'm touching the roof a little bit with this uh, microphone. So hopefully it's not too muffled. But everything is pretty good. As you can see here is basically all the stuff I have right there. And um, yeah, I'm going to call it a night. Today has been very interesting not being able to find a campsite until the third or fourth or fifth try. Um, but that's our problem. It's not a huge deal just because we knew we would find something. We just couldn't find something right away. Um, it is only like 10 to 10 right now. I might either dump some files, although I didn't really record that much today, so there isn't that much I could, there's, I can probably just wait until tomorrow. I haven't used up that much battery at all, really. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop it off here. Be safe, be well. I'll talk to you guys soon.